That's so And sad. I literally like cried making that song, dude. And like the first like <laughs> 10 times I listened to it, I cried. <laughs> dude, that's so bad. I am a bro, you know what I'm saying? Podcast number 23 available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Patreon for bonus episodes. Landon's album just came out. Debut yeah, album. Yeah, baby. It's called Sapphire on Spotify. All Excite. Platforms. Yep. And Very excited. That's why I'm sitting over here on my usual <laughs> spot. Because that's Landon's Took his, good uh, side. Spot. This is my good side. <laughs> Looks right. Steven, could you possibly grab me a bottle of water? Don't do it, Steven. Or not a bottle, just Don't a glass it. or something out of the Brita. Dude, we need to get that fridge fixed. Our Wait, Lenny, you used the Brita? You used the Brita? Dude, I don't smells, usually. It smells like feet. Like okay, well then, can you grab a bottle of water from my room? <laughs> make that make that two waters. If I'm your yeah, I don't care. Grab me one too. Four waters. Four waters. Yep. I have two cases. Actually, just yeah. grab my grab my bottle out of my room if you're already going up there. He's trying to be earth friendly. Um, how about you get my water bottle and don't say any smart remark ever again? Okay. A little slut. Anyway. Just kidding. Landon's album, I may say, is an amazing body of work, boys. Hey, man, I ain't cocky, but I'm going to say, yeah, it is. <laughs> Dude. I worked I mean, very hard on that. Like, slam the door, risk, lie to me. I like money a lot. It seems really? to be a, under, yeah, that's a, good a one that, that one and Last Cigarette are, like, among my least favorites soul is a really good Probably one calm Dude. down too is yeah one of my least favorite i produced that one but jesus Christ. it's eh. noise fucking wind no way actually i produced calm show. down in 2016 and all the vocals are from me like 18 years old oh my no god way. i did not know that that's why they're not uh quite as good as the other so that wait it's you kept 18 year old you didn't redo it no i didn't Cause like I well I tried to but I was like it it doesn't sound as like authentic like yeah. as how I was feeling back then so I just kept them and they weren't recorded very well either because I couldn't record that good and I didn't have a good mic back then <laughs> but yeah. what mic did you have so just, just some shit that my dad had in the house like yeah. probably two hundred dollar mic or something but yeah yes sir got the job done yeah yeah. Wait, the current one, how much does your current mic cost? 30, 3500 4000 Jesus Christ. I think I paid 4000 after taxes and everything. Yeah, we should have done. We should have fucking got that the in here. U87. Yeah, well, doing? this one's better for podcasts. Well, no. Yeah, but that one's, it has, that one's the, like a hundred one, one. Didn't we do one podcast Jeez, with yeah. that and it sounded fire? Yeah, but yeah. you were too far away from it to like really get the benefits from it. Yeah. But yeah, not even biased. I really like Landon's album. Like... I Thank genuinely you, like every single song. It's really Thank good. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. You're Are wrong. you almost done with the second one? Yeah, pretty much. But I, I don't know. I, I'll probably... Switch songs around? Switch songs around and make more new ones for that. Just because... Uh, I don't know. That's what I did with this one. Like, I... It was it was done, like, six months ago. But then I ended up throwing, like, so many other songs on there that <laughs> ended up coming... Like, 21, I recorded, like... 21 was originally Four called Changes. Ago. Yeah, Changes. And I still think Changes is a better I do too, title. to be honest. But, but it matches your I just, life, yeah, so it's I needed, fine. I needed a 21 song, and I was like, dude, that, that, one just, that one's the most... I remember telling you yeah. in like August, I was like, dude, Changes is good. Yeah. Like, I really liked Changes. I didn't want to do a 22, because 22 is a, like just ugly age. But I actually made a song where I say something about like 22, and I think I might have to do that and then end it there because i'm definitely not making a goddamn 23 uh 23 30. what if i made a 50 <laughs> wait so what 22 is gonna be the last one hopefully unless i make something really fucking great and i'm like fuck this has to be 23 i think i'm gonna spell it out though like 22 because the taylor swift song <laughs> what she has a song called 22 I'm feeling 22. I've never heard that. Are you yes, fucking you have. kidding me? Yes, you have. It's I don't like, know I about like you, but I'm oh, feeling. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know that. One. I know that part. I'm feeling Adam. 22. All right. Um, Hear that, fuckers? Uh, you can support Cameron at cuffboys.co. Is well, that it? <laughs> I don't even know what warehouse I'm at at this point. Um, 
I think I'm gonna wait f- to do merch. I want to like promote the album more before I like promote merch. I disagree. Really? Yeah. Well, do you think merch helps like with the album? I think just merch makes you money. I know it makes yeah. me money, but I'd rather like I don't know. I always feel weird like pushing merch before like really promoting the fuck out of the album. Dude, you fucking already promote. What do you mean promoting it? What's your well, like? I'm gonna do more shit. Like uh, I'm gonna get a budget for like TikTok and shit like that. Yeah, but so, you could still um, just fucking drop those things at Johnny Design. Yeah, no, I guess I, yeah, I'll do that. Just do it, Johnny. We gotta do the collab shit soon too. Yeah, just like I don't know. We can do that whenever. Yeah, we I got- think the the risk one was gonna be a part of that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go down the list of songs here. Risk. When did you make Risk? Like it was one of the, it was one of the first ones I did with Elmer. Like it mm-hmm. was, I think it was Elmer and Neek who produced it. So it was like 2019. It was like yeah, sometime in 2019, like early. Wait, when did I start dating Shelby? <laughs> August or no June? June 2019. Yeah. Okay, so I made Risk probably like. Three months after that. Okay. Two, three months. Because we, we were just being kind of wild. Yeah. So I was... Uh, I mean, I can't even put into words how good the guitar is on that. Dude, that's the, my favorite fucking guitar riff in any it's of my It's so songs. groovy. Like, I try to, like, make something like that, and I just fucking can't. But I love playing it. <laughs> Dude, the, this is what I keep telling Johnny the past, like, two days. Your number one par- priority right now... Should literally just be, you should just turn into a TikToker for the next month. Yeah, I just gotta figure out how to not make it fucking corny, dude, because. Yeah, but. No, nah, I mean, you literally I guess, uh, just put your phone in front of you and just do something. Anything? <laughs> yeah. With risk playing in the background like or even if the I'm door. just fucking singing it? Yeah. Yeah. Why dude, have you done it's that? so I mean, easy. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I could do that. Like risk, sure. risk and slam the door, and even twenty, dude. It's like I keep going down the list and saying that they could all be TikTok. They literally could all be TikTok songs, which I mean, I know that sounds fucking stupid to say that because if someone would have said that in 2018, 2019, <laughs> you get fried for it. But it literally makes careers now. It's like who well, cares? I'm, learning, I'm learning some shit about TikTok from Aiden. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been very helpful. I dude, I'd say just fucking go all out. Who cares? Yeah. Just for like a week or two and see what happens. Dude, who even cares if you go full head ass to promote? Eh, not full head ass, but if you like do like head corny. Ass. Eh, I mean, it's just not me. But I, guess I know yeah, it's not you, cares, but like, d- just do try the singing ones type shit like that. All right, well, or if you see some corny montage. TikToks in the future for me, I'm doing it to make the songs bigger. Dude, it doesn't even have to be corny that you can literally Look, just set up is- your little phone and your little room on your little floor i guess just make snippets like i usually do but on you don't TikTok. even have to do snippets dude you can literally put your phone down and slowly walk backwards look like you hate your life those always do pretty good <laughs> and and then you just i want to do i want to do the shit that you do where you put the shit in fast motion i just don't know how to and do, do a it. funny dance yeah. you literally just hit the three x and so, then oh, so, so it slows down the track right yeah and then you like just do it and then it speeds it up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's really my favorite shit. That shit's so funny. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. <laughs> Dude. I also reached out to a couple like TikTokers that like already made shit to my shit and <clears throat> they're like down to dude. One of them's like this kid Dalton. And he has like one point six million. Then there's this other guy who did something for pretty. I don't think he has as many. But his TikTok was really funny, and it did actually pretty good. Yeah. His name's Steven Tyrone. Oh. Yeah. I don't Shouts know out Steven Tyrone. He's a good guy. Shouts out Steven. Shouts out Steven. Not that one, though. Yeah, not that one. It's like, no, shouts out him, too. Yeah. Wait, when are you when are you dropping your next skit, wow. Steven? No, your skit, you fucker. Steven just made the like his, his funniest skit yet. Like he edited this morning. I'd say it's like top three, Wait, not Steven, funny. Uh, no, that, yeah, that one's really funny, actually. That, that one's yeah. Heck, heck of funny. All right, let's keep going down the list, though. Slam the door. When's that created? Any memories I behind actually that actually remember it was like November 20, no, November 19th. You know the exact date? Yeah, because it, the the, the um, MP3 that I had said Oh, yeah, I remember that. 11... 
19. Yeah, yeah. You posted 19. about that oh, no, too. No, no, the 23rd. One, one or the other. It was the 19th. 19th 23rd, yeah. It was December, it was the 19th. Yeah. Um Yeah, Slim Door. I made that with Omer and Diamond Pistols. Diamond Pistols really fire. <laughs> Diamond Pistols and Neek did 21. Uh and Diamond Pistols is actually pretty fire with, with guitar and like making guitar parts because yeah. he d- he made that guitar part for Twenty One. Yeah, that's another. There dude. was a beat that him and Meek Ne made, dude. That like literally would have been probably my best song because we had a hook idea for it, but then another artist ended up using it. Oh, I, c- I, I think you told me it. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, I was literally pissed. I'm pretty sure I like punched the table. When you found out I got taken, yeah. was it a bigger art? Because Nate told me he was artist? like, he was like, dude, you're gonna be mad. Like, kind of, but like, he didn't fit it as well as like it, it was did. like made for. It was like I felt like it was like made for. Who me, the fuck like, showed it to him? Showed it to who? The bigger art or the other artist? I think it was Diamond, but I, I think I mean he didn't know I was planning to get yeah. on it, so I don't like blame him for oh, it okay. at all. And yeah, dude, what's and the he can, beat? He can do whatever he wants with it because it's his. Yeah, shit. it's his shit. Well, I what's mean him and Neek, but yeah. What's the beat that, which song was it that, um, it was 17 that Juice World also got, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, because I remember when I got that beat pack from Nick Mara in, yeah. like, 2018 or something, there were a bunch of beats on there that actually made the, like, Goodbye, Good Riddance album yeah. that I didn't, like, end up using. So you just heard, he sent you, like, a bunch of beats, and then yeah. you pick them, and, and you And then when that bunch. album came out, I remembered, like, hearing some of them. So you sent the same pack to Juice World. Yeah, pretty much. That's yeah, that's, crazy. that's how I ended up. Like we both ended up with the seventeen beat. That's fucking crazy, dude. But I, I think Slam the Door is like, yeah, Slam the Door is like now. Like at first, the first couple, uh, the first couple days, Risk was doing the best on like Spotify, and now Slam the Door is doing better. I think those two are like the main, yeah. like just really unique ones yeah. on the project. Slam the Door is the one that I want to like push on tiktok dude shit. risk could too honestly i mean risk too yeah it's but just saying the door is catchy i told you 20 like we can get on the list to 21 now 21 <laughs> or changes literally sounds like a goddamn tiktok song like the definition so? i've been literally bro are you joking mm, no yeah I can see and they're like doing like change like, their outfit oh, yeah, little yeah. stupid shit yeah like little <laughs> girly shit saying they're going through changes and shit like imagine Facts. girls singing that chorus but I can, I, I, the reason I think slam the door, cause I can hear him like, that's just catchy. Doing some weird fucking dance with her, like, and yeah, and like mad. And yeah. Like when they're talking like, about their exes or something like this is to my ex <laughs> or just top. like doing it with some other TikTok weirdo dude and Wait, just what song like, are you talking pushing about? pushing him, pushing him to the side. I didn't want to talk to you. Slam the door. Every time you talk, I get sad, but oh yeah. 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 <laughs> that literally sounds like it could be a TikTok record yeah. like completely. oh my god yeah, yeah i can see the corniest shit nice well lit with this little circle light and yeah. there he's just like pushing it uh, i'm gonna wait a little i think i want to shoot that video with like nick or something like in like something a month really or fire. two yeah because like we're doing the risk and light blue videos mm-hmm. um which is like the risk one's gonna be fucking sick and so is light blue but then yeah, this, I'm just going to save the slam the door on for a little bit because I think the song's going to get more momentum on its own. Mm-hmm. And people will like want the video more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's perfect. Just TikTok, bro. Dude, I'm excited to fucking shoot the Risk video. Cause Is that on the 14th? We're going to like, yeah, we're going to bring the dirt bikes and shit. Dude, I have to oh, get wait, a dirt Steven, bike for that. Steven, are you like available on the 14th? <laughs> Uh, yes, he is. You're well, taking his way, we'll rent a schedule now. Oh, well, yeah, because we need the, like we need a truck to get the dirt bike. Dude, no, wait, no, that's definitely not going to make it there. What's not going to? Oh, his, his truck? piece of shit truck is not well, making we'll it. We'll just rent a truck. It's no big deal. Dude, it's like an hour and a half out. This piece of shit truck. Do you not? You do you not drive your car like your truck long distances? You I mean, dude, you we can still haven't gotten bro. oil. No, you, you bitch. We can really yeah, just we can really yeah, just rent. We can really just rent a, we can really just rent a truck. It's not that like that big a deal. Let's rent a goddamn. Because that way, like I could. One well, no, guys, I just can't. I can't drive your truck because I can't drive a truck. Wait, guys, I can. Guys, guys, uh, guys, we would probably have to rent a truck because I'm most likely gonna get a dirt bike too for the video. Uh, okay, yeah. So if we need, we need like a. We big, need more space. 
And, bro, we're going to need so much because we need shit for all the equipment, too. We could just rent a U-Haul, honestly. Uh, I'll rent a U-Haul. Because like, we got to bring the drum set, too. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I'm just going to rent a U-Haul. U-Haul? You dude, the place that Sam was showing me where that video is going to be shot is crazy. I know, dude. That's going to be so fun. It's a vibe. He found it in the fucking Mike Magic or whatever. Riding around on the dirt bikes and no helmets. Hell, yeah. I'm Wait, are you getting die. any benches in it? Uh, that girl, uh, have you ever heard of that oh, girl? Co- I didn't know you were down there, PD. Have you ever heard of that girl, Coco Blake? She's the bald like, one. The bald one, yeah. She's yeah. so hot. Yeah, she is so hot. But yeah, yeah. she's she's going to be in it. Nice. Right, I think she's the only one who's going to be in it. Um, one bench. One bald I mean, bench, please. That's, I don't know. I think it's a I just cool idea. I just she's head kicked a, your dog. <laughs> oh, Peter, come here. She just hey. has like the perfect look for that song, dude. Like a, a bald, I don't, tatted girl. Have you ever seen her? Dude, she's like, <laughs> dude. I met her. Steven, you fucking flip dude, the bottle. Wait, I can't guys, see it anymore. I met her on Tinder. Oh, can you flip that back? No, just go back from this way. Landing casting girls from Tinder, bro. It is. Where were we at? We were at light, uh, uh light blue, right? Light blue. Okay. How um, do you meet Kid Bloom or contact Kid with Bloom? Him? Oh yeah, dude. That's a crit. That's a sick story. Okay, tell it. Did do you know it? Or no. Okay, so I was on the Orange tour. With with Johnny and them, mm-hmm. and uh, we were in we were staying at my uncle's house in Santa Cruz, and they him and I he, can tell this part, then you can finish it because you weren't even there. Okay, yeah, go ahead. So me and the two camera dudes, well, Landon's uncle, shout out to Dex, I love him. He was telling us about this like college bar and sh- or like this area where there's a bunch of bars that like college kids go to, and we went into this one bar. And then Nico and Matias like pretty much got in a fight. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Really I didn't go out because I was with Shelby at the time, so I just mm. didn't like have a reason to go out because I'm loyal. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, continue. <laughs> Unlike John, and they like kicked us out, <laughs> and we were like, "Oh, what the fuck!" And then um, I like had, er, I had a cigarette. And there was, okay, I was about to, like, light a cigarette, but I didn't have a lighter. And then there was a bunch of people coming out of this venue. As we're, like, this, we just got kicked out, and we're walking in, and a bunch of, okay, back step. So Holy we get kicked shit, out. Honey. We're walking all defeated down the street. A bunch of people are coming out of this venue. I was like, oh, and we had played there the year before at this venue. And um, I can't remember what it's called. Not important. The Catalyst. The Catalyst. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> and then Kid Bloom comes out, and he's like, I think he asked me if he could have a cig. I was really fucked up, so it's a little blurry. And I was like, I think I was like, yeah, if you have, like, do you have a lighter? And he was like, yeah. And then we started talking, and I was like, did you just play here? Because he just had that. And you, you, yeah, you didn't even know who he was at the time, right? Yeah, I no never clue. knew who this person was either. Yeah, yeah. Was just a random artist? Yeah, I had no clue who he was at the time. And then um, he like, let me use his lighter. And then we started talking, and... I was like, did you just play here? Because he was all sweaty and shit. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, me and my friend played here, like, last year. And he was like, who's your friend? And I told him. And then I, like, got his Instagram and shit. And he, like, liked the brand and stuff. And then I told him about Landon. And then I think he, like, fucked with Landon. And then you can pick yeah. up Landon. Okay. So the next day, Johnny, like, just came. He was like, dude, I met this really fire artist at, uh, like, out front of the Catalyst. And he told me that story. <clears throat> And then I like went and listened, or he played me one of his songs, and I was like, "Dude, this shit's so fucking fire!" Because it's just like indie alternative type shit. It really was, sick. It was really fucking sick. And then so I I followed him and like messaged him, and I was like, "My homies met you last night. You're fire." Blah blah blah. He was like, "Thank you." Uh, and that's something how we're something. And yeah, and then so I went to his house, and I had light blue record. I'd had the hook to light blue recorded. I went to his house, me and Johnny went to his house to just, like, chill, kind of, but I was also, like, we were going to work on some shit, too, and then he just did his verse, because it was, like, 15 seconds, mm-hmm. he did his verse. Dude, I love how short cooked it us, is. Cooked us dinner and everything, very nice, very sweet guy. A week, dude, a week before the album dropped, or a couple of days uh, or something, he, like, no, it was, like, a week, he, like, uh, called me and was, like... Just got me really hyped Hype for like up. light blue and shit, and he was just like, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like fucking banger, dude. Great guy. Yeah, really great guy. Shout out Kid Bloom. 
cool guy. I didn't know who he was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all. I didn't either, but um, not until like I, uh, like you, they you had an him. Instagram filter that I used recently. You see that one? Sky one. Yeah, I yeah. think so. It's like all blue. Yeah. That's Wait, sick. are you like cutting parts of this podcast, or are you just? What do you mean? Does something need to be cut, Landon? What does it need to be cut? Okay, um, soul. I know this is a soul. fun story. Oh my fucking god, dude! Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I have the voice memo of me writing soul somewhere in my phone, but like the idea yeah. of it. Yeah, but I can't really dig for it. And it's, it's yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Just tell the story, anyways. So, <laughs> I recorded that song. Uh. Uh yeah, I recorded that song with Omer and Neek and them, and then uh, at six a.m. um I got uh, arrested. I recorded at like ten or eleven, and then six a.m. arrested. Uh, not my uh, not my best work. <laughs> Why'd you get arrested? <laughs> no comment. Mm. Uh, dude, people will figure it out if they can. How will like... they figure it out? Dude, I fucking found it on Google before. You did? Wait, really? Yeah. Well, the charges are dropped. I don't... Well, no, I couldn't find the charges, though. But I'm sure someone will figure it out. If charges got dropped, you might be fine, actually. Well, I don't want anyone to think it's weird, so it, it was a DUI. <laughs> okay, that's, that's well, it. it been, you could have kept it, like, weird, like, could have lied. All right, Seattle interlude, Landy. Oh, yeah, that's that's a, that's a cool one. Uh, I was on tour in uh, Seattle, the Orange Tour. Mm-hmm. And uh, Omer was like, "Let's write, let's uh, make something." So smacking. I was actually about to go to, like take a nap, but he was like, "Let's make something." I was like, "All right, yeah, I, I got to take this opportunity." So he played some shit on guitar, and then I like made the melody mm-hmm. basically. And the only line I really had, and it was like, "Why?" I said like, "Why do you lie to me? You make it hard to sleep." Mm-hmm. But that's not the actual lyrics. But everything else was just mumbled like gibberish. And then, yeah, I, I I recorded on a voice memo so that when we got back to, like, L.A., we could record it, mm-hmm. like, build it out and shit. So I decided to put the voice memo right before Lie to Me. Because, like, right at the end, Omer's like, that's the hook. And I'm like, yep. And he's like, fire. And then Lie to Me starts. Lie to Me starts. Yeah. And then, so that's how y'all basically wrote "Lie to Me" too. That story. Yeah, like we wrote, we wrote. I wrote the hook there. Um, fuck you. I wrote the hook there, and then I wrote the verses back here. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Lie to me is honestly one of the like unbiased. That music video is one of the greatest music videos I've ever seen. Yeah, it's literally thank a you, movie. Thank you. I mean, I'm not even saying that about you. Fuck you. I'm talking about Nick Jandora. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually. Like, yeah. That's yeah, no, one of Nick, Nick's Nick, best Nick, videos. Yeah, and I just let Nick send me the treatments for videos, and then they're always just fire. So I'm always just like, yes, let's Dude, do it. It just looks like you're in fucking Dubai or some shit at the beginning. It looks so sick. Or Egypt, perhaps. Or Egypt, yes. Yeah, like, dude. where was that? Sam told me it was like four hours uh, away. It was like, uh, yeah, like three four hours away it was called like glamis sand dunes or something but it's down by like it's kind of near like the salton sea if you know where that is or Uh, like joshua tree was it near vegas i don't know maybe Uh, i think sam wait is josh joshua tree south i think so i thought joshua tree's north Dude, I'm pretty sure it's i don't know i don't know know. know. dude i think my anger and pube hair is coming back boo I think it is, dude. Ha- you gotta pluck it, man. Oh my god, it is. Really? I think there's another one right next to it. It's white. Mm, let me get out with my teeth. Dude, I got another anger and pube hair, dude. <laughs> this was like a 10-day process last time. 10-day process. It's, there's a little white head in there, bro. Cameron. <gasps> That's what it is, bro. It needs to get out of there, or else it's just gonna keep getting infected. Oh my infected. god, that was so gross. That's what's going on above your cockington, dude. Uh, uh. I scared Peter. Dude, Peter, Peter hopped up on me for once. Peter, come here. 
He looks like a little slug when he lays like that. Peter, it is your father. Okay, next song, Landy Cuff, 80s. 80s. Okay, that was like when we were in the first like lockdown shit. March, February, or April. Probably, something like that. And then, uh, or maybe a little after that, because when, when the lockdown started, me and Tito in the, at the old house, and well, no, I'm not going to say where it is, but... <laughs> because they still live there. Yeah, old house. Yeah. But the old house. You can um, say the city, dude. That's a I pretty. Mean, okay, well, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. But uh, I rec- oh, wait. Hold on. Okay, Chase sent the loop, and then uh, Tito started building out the beat, and I did the hook, and then like right after I did the hook, we bounced it. I sent it to Golden. I'm pretty sure he sent it back that day, within hours. Not yeah. within like an hour. I made a hard worker, bro. Yeah. And I was like, fire. But, and then, uh, yeah. That's about it. With that. <laughs> it was. Did you just, did you plan on calling it 80s? Like, were, were you like, did you want to have like a. Song? The first title was Will Be Fine, but that was just too fucking like basic. Yeah. And then so I said 80s in it. So I was like, 80s sounds like really sick. Yeah. I mean, that video, too, yeah. dude. It's like almost all these songs. Oh, yeah, that videos. video. I love that video, bro. Makes me feel quite good. Well, no, that's just like but a video the, that's going to, like, remind of his, us of this house now, like, so much. Yeah. Like, if we, when we ever yeah, move I love here. that my life is, like, documented through, like, music videos and just, like, vlogs yeah. and shit. Because I can always, like, just look back at it even when I'm, like, fucking, if I make it to 50. Yeah. That's sick. Just it's like back. a time show capsule. My, show my kids. Yeah. And shit. Dude, you know what sucks though? I'd be like, have... oh, dad, you were so cool. <laughs> so, yeah. No, you weren't. Um, I don't <laughs> have <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I don't have any of the old footage, dude. I deleted it. What old footage? Like raw files. Oh, and that like shit. so you just. We just have the vlogs. Yeah. Basically. Like literally, that's it, bruh. When I could have. Eh, kept... Probably for the better. No, dude. Like imagine all the old vlogs, like raw files on a hard drive. And that. Twenty minutes I mean, but a week. You, you you edited like the best footage into it. So yeah. yeah, not really, dude. I cut a lot of shit out, dude. Your mic's making a noise. Oh, just permanently up there. Like, think about it. All those vlogs are never gonna disappear. But yeah, I always just randomly watch them. Like, I, I mean, not 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 all depressed. the time, but like if I'm in a quite nostalgic mood. Yeah. And we ain't done yet, baby boy. Bro, what Don't if one time, time everything on YouTube is. Like Johnny doesn't look too good, bro. I'm just tired. I've been sleeping. <laughs> Your eyes are red as fuck. Yo, I smoked f- fucking so much weed. Smoke a reefer? Yeah. Okay, Landon, calm down. Uh, well, I, yeah, I kind down. of already talked about that, but uh, I made it in like 2016. Yeah. When I was 18, and then I just... Really liked it like, still. Yeah, I, pr- I, uh, I really liked it still. I produced it, and... Yeah, that's Frick probably yeah. why the production quality isn't that great, but it's <laughs> <laughs> fine. No, nah, I mean like the the guitar is cool and everything, but it just like wasn't recorded the best. But eh. still, uh, gives quite, it some more personality. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite raw. Yeah, out this outside. I like it. That's one of my faves, to be honest. Yeah, and there's like not auto tune on most of it, but some of it I put like a little bit of tune. But I didn't yeah. realize I was from 2016. I like how it it's very like pop, like m- m- the like melodies like super poppy, but it almost sounds like like a punk song. I guess it's like punk yeah. energy. Dude, someone someone said in comments was "Calm Down" inspired by the old Dance Gavin dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! I can kind of see it. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I can definitely see it. That's funny as shit. I never listened to them. Uh, really? They're they're yeah. weird. They're weird, it's but cool, like but they have yeah. a couple like real. Fire songs. I remember seeing them at Warped Tour and stuff, like because y'all wanted to watch them or something. Yeah, and their their live performance isn't that good. Oh uh, yeah. Well, then again, I did. I have only seen like one song of them live. I just like walking it. by. How do you oh, connect with man. Ty Fontaine? Um, how did I? Internet with Money Ty? Beach. I think. Well, all right. I'm like cool with Taz, but I'm trying because I've I've connected with like some of those artists through Taz. I'm trying to remember if it was. Just DMs or that something. That way with no 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 with Ty Ty DM me. I think I had followed him or something. And then yeah. he he DM'd me one day and was like, Let's work and then I think we 
work that night and we made yeah. two songs i think i remember that night. one was of them was recently? supposed to be like on the internet money album but then I, they said there was like too much of ty on it mm -hmm. like because he was on like a lot of those songs yeah so they just cut that one but uh i don't know if it's still coming out or not but it was pretty fun that one was made recently right the pa like yeah it was like probably like July? three four months ago tops yeah i remember that you yeah. did it when we lived here so it was definitely recent. Did I? Yeah. Oh. I remember you saying you were going there. It's like July. Uh, yeah. Well, I went there a few times after, but no, no, no. I, I lived in Tarzana because I, oh. I, I remember because they lived at that time. They lived in Encino and it was like the next town over. So hmm. I just went over. But it was like definitely toward the end of us living, living there. When Johnny's tired, his eyes get all red and he starts getting <laughs> Don't tickle like my piggies. Cuddly and he just wants to like. I do want to cuddle, bro. I need, I want a fucking big titty bitch to cuddle with right now. Suck dude, on my boobs. Johnny mm. looked at Lanny's Johnny, dad. you want to get drunk? Dude, I am... Eh, actually. I have a FaZe Clan interview tomorrow at 3 p.m. Uh, oh, so you can't get drunk? No. What a shame. Aww. You always get, mm -hmm. you always get drunk, dude. Yeah, he's been... Cameron's been smoking a lot of meth lately, too. We yeah, to he does like, like meth night. and he drinks a lot. Mm. We're trying to get he him gets to scared stop. when he does meth. That's why he's always just working on his computer because he's strung out on meth. Mm. Peter, yeah. come here. Peter hopped up on me today. I was so happy. He's been more. He's been like not super timid lately. Dude, that like was the most. Oh, wait, what were you saying? No, you're fine. Go. Well, mine wasn't important. Mine yeah. wasn't really either. <laughs> All right. Well, no one's talking about psycho. Dude, there was a legit fucking like psychopath lady at that 76 today. She like walked in the the vape place that I was in and like was like literally screaming and like growling like a monster. And the then, one right by the house? And then said like, what color is your hair? Like While you me. were in there? Yeah. And I was just like, I was like checking out and I was like pink. And then she started like slapping the ATM machine and the clerk was like, stop that. Stop. Don't touch that. And was she it literally the same like, was she was like, fuck you asshole. And then she started like gurgling and shit. And it was oh, like really scary. Math, That's sad. I kind of speed walked to my car. Wait. Speed was she car. like kind yeah because like, i was like dude i don't want this bitch to like fucking just chew my face off or something like dude what? was it like a kind of tall like tan white bitch no i'd, I'd say she was like uh, hispanic or something I like because i went to michael's last night and there was a lady and she kept going <laughs> well there's psychopaths everywhere here but yeah, this, this was like this was one of the most like intense psychopaths I've come across here. I like the and intense that's, that's ones. That's like that's crazy because like I've seen some really crazy motherfuckers here. Did that face? Hmm. The invitation. I'm zooming in on that face. Oh, she said. I don't know. I can't remember what face it. She was like. Oh, oh, oh. No, it was funny. Oh wait, wait. Johnny, one more thing about the. Oh wait, what? You know what's funny about Johnny? He can't repeat things funny. Like, the first time is the only time you're going to get it. That's authentic. I didn't realize you can, that. You can't fake anything. Face. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah. yeah, I feel you. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. Dude, I, I hate being on camera if it's, like, something I have to, like, fake, like, act oh or something. God, I just dude. can't do it. But the one more thing about the past. Mm -hmm. uh, Ty did, like, the Jason Mraz, like, mm -hmm. I part. love that. Did you yeah, get that clear? That was fire. Yeah. Well, that that's what I'm, like, about yeah. to say. Like, uh, at first, like, like, Jason Mraz, like, the people wanted, like, a... Well, I, I don't want to, like, give specifics, but, like, I wasn't, like, I didn't really want to give away the percentage that they, like, Sorry. wanted. So, I had Ty, like, just recut that one part. Mm -hmm. And then I just, like, decided that I didn't like it as much as, like, the Jason, like, the, because that shit's just fire. And I knew people yeah. would like it. Because a, okay. a lot of people have talked about that. They've been, like, the Jason Mraz, like, interpolation shit is fire. So and good. so I just, like listen to what he did and it was still fire but i was like but the jason mraz shit was like fucking hard so i just ended up like giving the percentage to jason mraz <laughs> <laughs> i didn't i like i didn't fuck it i was like yeah dude fuck it. when you were younger did you ever think you would be given a percentage to jason mraz no <laughs> they didn't, that's like, so funny that's wild but that's just fucking normal like shit like if i did any sample any of any song i would just like get my label to like or uh who would i have like yeah, I think like you have to like I had, well, my manager did it, but yeah, have the label like go to their people, contact like, them, figure out the yeah the, <coughs> the publishing because it's they just get the, like the publishing. I really like the song that you did with these. <laughs> these who? 
Steven sent me yeah. a picture. Look what Steven sent me a picture of today, and I didn't respond because it was just that. Wait, have y'all heard the song I did with just Joe? He just sent me that. Joe who? Joe mama. <laughs> Steven sent me this. I didn't respond. <laughs> what did he send? Dude, Steven. Oh, yeah, he sent me that last night, too, and Dude. just like and just looked at me while I reacted to it, and I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Petey, oh. calm down, baby boy. And then he tried to explain the humor in it. And he was just going. It's about seven. That's years what made late. it funny when he started trying to explain the humor. He was like, "Cause you know, like it's it's such an old it's such an old joke." Like Johnny, I'm not joking. I just started. I was like, "What do I smell weed?" And I realized it's your foot smell. Your feet smell like kind of like s- aluminum cheese. Aluminum cheese. Like I got this. I got to smell. They smell like new shoes. I made a whiskey. It's because I got those new uh, Jordans. Oh yeah. Definitely. There's just something weird in there. I don't smell the cheese. It smells like plants. I was just kind of joking. Cheese. It smells like rubber to me. I was joking about the cheese, really, to be honest. Um, Exposing me, bro. My feet never, ever stank. Well, actually, fine. sometimes. My breath smells like half the day. Um, <laughs> money, Landon, what happened with that? <laughs> money. I did the guitar on that. Um, and... Whoa, you changed your Spotify picture? Nice. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, fun. Yeah. Do you like that? Do you like that? I do. Nice. You look kind I of fat, it. but... No, oh, fuck it. I am fat. Dude, I'm joking. I'm joking. I, my I'm favorite fat. picture of you is the one of you in that sweater with the white background. You're like looking into the heavens. Oh, yeah, that yeah. That picture's really I like that. Wait, the one where I'm like kind of looking at my like bracelet? Thing. Yeah. Yeah, I like that picture a lot, too. You talking yeah. about this? This is amazing, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, really you should make that your spot. <gasps> Republic <gasps> used that on when they they made a post. Like Republic made a post today about my album, and they used that picture. Nice. Oh yeah, y'all used a good I'm picture. I'm Steven. I'm gonna stay, make Steven switch my clothes, switch my load and washer. Fat switch bitch. this load into your fucking anus. You live here for free. That's all you got to say to get Steven to do something. Oh, um, <laughs> ha- uh, what's happened with stupid? Stupid, dude. Okay. That's actually crazy. Cause, well, it's not actually crazy. You know, I, I hyped it up, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I, I recorded that one like literally two to three months ago, probably. And then like it was just I was going to put it on my next album. Mm-hmm. But then we couldn't get Polaroids cleared with like the producer. Mm hmm. So, which kind of sucks because I really wanted to get Polaroids on there because I really love that song. But yeah, you can go to the next one. I'm gonna just put it on my deluxe, probably. Yeah. Deluxe. Yeah, my deluxe. deluxe. I like Polaroids a lot, dude. Polaroids is freaking fire. Um, but anyway, uh, so we couldn't do that. So I was like, I didn't want to drop an album with just 13 songs because one of them was an interlude, so it'd just be 12 songs. Yeah. Like I didn't want to wait so long and only give them like. 13 plus 13 is a weird number for an album well, you to still me. really only did 13 songs yeah but it would have been 12 yeah otherwise. i know but 13 still pretty speaking. yeah and there's only one interlude so it's not like i don't know i feel like a, like some artists put like multiple interludes i didn't really i just don't yeah. really like interludes that much but that interlude that i put was like like meaningful kind of like because it just goes right into lie yeah to it me makes and it's sense me writing lie to me but um so we were literally scrambling like last minute we had to like uh have the album turned in it was like on a monday that i found out we couldn't use polaroids mm-hmm. we had to have the whole album turned in by friday so i think i remember that week yeah so i was like all right Nick, we gotta mix this song so he like but mixed it something but then like we weren't like happy with where everything was so we had the guitar player on that shout out nathan i'm not sure his last name but his producer name's nm mm-hmm. he's really he's like dude he's just like a loop making like a loop maker guitar player who's yeah. 16 like still in school lives. I don't know where he lives, but he just like <laughs> sent Tito loops through email and they're like what? so fire, bro. Like he's like insane. That's sick. Yeah. And then, um, so we had him like add some other bass and like some other like chords in the verse. And then, yeah, we, uh, pulled it off. Fuck. Yeah. Shouts bitch. out to him and, uh, Neek for uh, pulling that one off. So I Nick like didn't really like that song, but I was like, he kept com- trying to convince me not to use it, and I was like, no. Fucking- like what, what convinced me to use it was that. Oh. What convinced me to use it was that Sam like really really liked it, and he was like, like, 
he really wanted me to put it on the album. Mm -hmm. And Sam like kind of started off like as a fan of like me and Sky. So I was yeah. like, all right, if like some fanboy living in the cough boys house, <laughs> if he's just like a casual, like listener and he like it, thinks this song's fire and he's like, I don't know, like pretty, pretty, uh, in tune with the, uh, culture, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, I got to put it on. Uh, you mean Sam knows every goddamn thing, every, yeah, uh, knows all times everything going ever on. of all time. Shouts out Sam. He really helped me a lot with this album. <laughs> <laughs> and you would have been frigged. I would have been, uh, yeah, I would have been really frigged. Um, I liked how you ended this up. Like, you know, people end albums like kind of with like not that good of songs. Yeah. I well, think Last of. Cigarette and Wishing and Hoping are like perfect endings. Yeah. Well, I put Last Cigarette really low because I didn't Dude, really I remember it. telling like, you I liked Last Cigarette and you were surprised. Yeah, but then then like multiple other people like Johnny's uh sister, like Gabby, older yeah, sister. Yeah, dude. It was her older sister, right? Yeah. Yeah. Gabby said that that was her favorite song too. And like I saw a lot of people like commenting. People talking about their cigarette edition. Yeah. I mean, I definitely I definitely like it. It was just uh that's that's like Steven, dude. it's Stallion. like it's like all the other songs. The songs that I liked the most were the ones that didn't really have like eight oh eights and shit. And I think may that's maybe why I didn't really like Last Cigarette yeah. that much. But it does sound like a song you would have made in like 2017, 2018. Oh, I yeah. agree. But, but I think that's it, why people like it because yeah. like that's what they're they're used to. I just it's but, just good, dude. Um, yeah. I don't even like music like that that much anymore. I mean, I never really did a whole lot, but that song's fucking sick. It's a nice. vibe. Thanks, dude. I think at that time I was trying to quit cigarettes and uh, <laughs> and also lean. <laughs> okay. Well, can I put that in there? I think I already talked about this before. Did you? Because I said, I said, I just smoked my last cigarette, just sit my last cup of red. Oh. The red. Lean Hold and out of red, baby. To lean Have you talked about that on the yeah, podcast? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Golden was in that session too. I was about to like uh, get him on that one, but uh, we ended up doing like pretty. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's the deal with wishing and hoping? When did you do all that? Because you recorded the video like a year ago. That's probably like one of the older ones on there. Like this, I did that when like, because for a while I would only record by myself, like over beats mm -hmm. and shit, uh, until I like started getting in with producers. Like th my music got so much better when I like started working with producers. Like in like, the studio, yeah. Like from the start, because I could like, I don't know, bro. It's, we it's weird working on beats now, because like I have to start with just the guitar and then like start to get a melody in my head. Yeah. And then, because if I like don't get a melody in my head, I just say, I just tell the guitar player to like go to another idea. Yeah. So I'm like, I have more control over like where the song goes, but, uh, wishing and hoping Neek made that beat. Uh, Neek I think made it. it was when, fuck? oh no, it wasn't, it was when I just moved into the house in Tarzana mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, Neek, ma ma eh, Neek did that beat, uh, by himself. Like he did the guitar and everything, but, uh, Damn. then I, then that's the first song I ever recorded like drunk. <laughs> Wait, uh, which one? Wishing and hoping. Wishing and hoping. I was like really drunk and like it sounds like in, a relaxed in one. In my uh, feelings, and I re I really like that song though, like because I like talk about like very real shit in my life. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know what's funny? I and remember the video you. too. Like it was like a simple video, but like Xandros just like snapped on that fucking. Xandros is just incredible. Yeah, there's no other word to describe Xandros. Dude, just like the fucking like the co even the coloring shit that he does. He's, with it, his color like, corrections so next good. level. So sick. The bro. the shot at the beginning of that video with the water and the and the orange text. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's like, just is amazing. Like that color scheme. Literally, dude, looks amazing. that that video ended up coming out because remember. Uh, the fucking groceries video. Oh yeah, atrocious. Can you talk about that? Yeah, sure. We <laughs> we did it like uh, I I shot my shit on green screen with with Nick, and then uh, little Keed, and then like Keed. Th it was this was when shit was like, <laughs> shit was like on lockdown. So he recorded or he they shot his shit on green screen in Atlanta. And then I don't think that was the issue. It was our, just the editing. Well, yeah, no, our, well that too. But I, I'm gonna get to that. Okay. Like. Well, number one, like the lighting, 
the lighting just didn't match in the green screen, so it just what? looked weird. And then the the effects that the like the VFX dude put on there. Who was just, a very respected artist. Yeah, too. I'm not gonna like say any yeah, names. Yeah, we'll but, not say his name, but he but like he, his, he he's really fire. But like yeah. I don't I don't know what happened. I don't know what the I don't know what happened. happened with this video. And the video was supposed to drop like. I'm pretty sure they told me they were like, yeah, it's about to drop tomorrow, and I like literally got so I, I, I got there. Pa- I got pissed. I was I like, know. dude, like. I recall you like, saying this shit is like terrible. Like this is going to be bad for my career. Like, dude, I texted Cole and everything. Like I was like, dude, do you think like if I dropped this video, it'd be like a mistake? And he was like, just try to be nice about it. But I think he, he was kind of like, yeah, that's shitty. Try. He, he, he said what he said was he was like, it's not good, but it's not terrible. And I was like, dude, it's terrible. Like, it, wait, like he explained, he explained like how, how I can make it better and everything. And I was like, dude, I think I'd rather just like scrap it and put out this other video that Xandro shot. It's like really sick. Yeah. And then that's what I ended up doing. When you told your label, you didn't want to do it. Did they like try to convince you? No. Um, Cause I mean, they can't, they have to have my permission to like drop something. Right. So, um, they didn't try to like fight it at all. I think though. my brother kind of tried to convince oh, me. Oh, I recall. Um, he but came I was up to me like, with an, dude, Lane doesn't want to drop this, but, um, <laughs> oh yeah. Um, wait, hold on. Let me think if there was anything else I had to say about that. No, we're not. Done um, this. no, about that, like the groceries thing. Oh yeah. Um, sorry. But yeah, I was like, no, dude, like we, we can't put this shit mm-hmm. out. And I think like, my label didn't really like like that, but like I was like, dude, the video just didn't match you. It was like, I, I was like, dude, like this, like we can't it was like go, a candy we land. can't go, we can't go like backwards in the quality of videos I drop because the the Whoa. the video that I dropped before that was pretty, like it, well, almost a year, fucking, almost a year before we we dropped pretty, which was like a fire video. It was like six, eight months before. Yeah, and then like so, the next video I drop is gonna be like. I, I just it imagine just, I just imagine dude, people looking at it and be like, oh Lynn and fucking Your is, videos is are fucking like fucking up. Your videos are like landscapey, like beautiful videos. Like and Yeah, like I want them to just be fucking like that voice crack? crazy dude. or else I'm not my voice like, cracking. Fuck twenty two. Alright, sorry, what? Like they have to be <laughs> dude, I I even feel like I looked fucking just like awkward and uncomfortable in that dude, video. It just yeah. didn't match like you. it just was like Do you still have that anywhere yeah oh, I'll i think find so. the bitch. i think <laughs> davis or landon sent to me and i was just like dude this is literally a candy land video dude bro it literally just looks like a sh- weird ass Nicki minaj video you can tell a nightmare of a Nicki minaj video it's yeah. just it was just not not good at all that was and no, that wasn't. You no, know, it was a bummer. Nick, was Nick, like, Nick shot my parts, but obviously that was not Nick's fault at all because he didn't edit it. Well, like every everything that I he shot, the everything that he cart shot, stuff. yeah, everything that he shot was like clean. Yeah, yeah, um, I like that stuff. But Take it was out the green it screen. was really just like the editing. It was like I forget and what it looked like, it, dude. It was just him I, sitting I mean, in I remember, that but like, shopping cart with like fruit around him and shit. And then like, dude, you know what sucked is it was because it was the peak of like when Corona first came. Like when everyone was freaking out, kind of, you could have like made that video so sick, like of like in a real grocery store and shit. But then yeah, everyone's like freaking were, out. Yeah. Like that could have been, I, like they could have been like, not in a my best store, work. Bro. Imagine. <laughs> I Honestly, never, bro, it's okay because I don't, I, I also don't really, that's not my, that's not one of my favorite songs. I was though. literally about to say, it's I was not, never even a fan of that uh, song. Like, dude, when I first made it, I thought it was like really sick. I thought the hook was like fire and shit. And I just like, the more I listened to it, I was like, it, well, actually what happened was I started making more like of the shit, like slam the door and like yeah. light blue and shit. And I was like, all right, this like, this music go. needs to just like stay in the past. Like this does not represent me at all. Yeah. Dude, it's so funny. It's like a cycle. Cause I remember in 2016, I was making 2015, shit like I was like Landon sing on beats all the time. And then now you went started singing on beats for two years, three years. And then now you're back to the other shit. Yeah. Like I started, I started making, like full circle. I started with making the stuff that I'm pretty making much now, making now. Just but better. Like, yeah. Just, just better like production, better, like mixing everything, better, everything. And my vocals just like, it's just infinitely yeah, better in every way. Yeah. Cause dude, I put on like euphoria and like all your old hits from 2016, 2015. It's like literally you can just hear the production quality increase. Yeah. And I didn't use like any auto tune whatsoever back then, which was actually kind of cool. Cause like it, it it's doesn't, just raw. It sounds sound super bad, raw. But, I love that. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. 
I have like one more song that I produced that I'm gonna put on my next album, but it's like actually really fucking good. Oh, and I, wanna, I just not tapped myself with my own. <laughs> I, I want to get like uh, Tito to kind of like help me with the. Oh, dude, it was actually a bad one, dude. Like instant stomach stomach ache. What? I just want to get Tito to help me with the production a little bit, and we'll be uh, straight. Tito actually, there's legend, a few. I, I started producing more now, though. I made like a really cool like rock beat. You know the down. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, it's two in the morning, dude. I just think you should be a TikToker for a month. See what happens. Do you not. I'll even? try it. I posted a TikTok today. It didn't do well, but it it, it was just. You know why? Because TikTok to... is like, unless you're obviously like fucking someone who's like insanely established, like it's gonna take you a few TikToks to get back in the algorithm. Yeah. Well, the Man. TikTok was just something of Peter. It was like fucking. Yeah, it was. I mean, I didn't expect it to too. do good, but I was like, I I should like just I should just post. Dude, something just, just put to... your phone like and get a full fit and like yeah. you singing maybe. Oh shit, oh, Landon, I'm gonna give you a tip. All right. Yeah. When you're about to film a TikTok, wipe the cummies off your lens so there's not a huge glare. <laughs> is, there, is there? Was there one today? No, not on that one. But I feel like anytime I see a video from your phone, it just has cummies all over the lens. But dude, and and don't really do like in TikToks. It has to be obvious what's going on in it. Like you want like a really good view, you know? Yeah, you I just kind nice of fuck lighting. around and do. No, I, I get that. I get that. Yeah. It's but fun. Here, here's this three is a TikToks lifestyle. right here for you. The 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 um, try singing one, and you could do like a sick montage of you like maybe skating around on your. Dirt you bike say singing shit. one, just like my skating song, or like singing yeah, to risk, skate slam bike. the door or anything. Then like a montage, one of you with risk slam the door in the background, one of those two, like a montage of you like on your skateboard or on your dirt bike. Oh well, that should be risk for sure. Yeah, and then another one of like the documentary type one that we talked about. Oh yeah, dude, I want to do that so bad. Dude, but literally, I just feel bro, so you need to do that awkward. one first. Just be like, you need to do that one ASAP. I'm just, telling you. You could literally just just try to word it that's not corny. Like I know you don't want to be corny about it, but like just try it. See what happens. Because if you like introduce or like just say, and then show a clip of like Red Roses or nowadays real quick, and then be like, well, this and is have new it. shit. And Record then, scratch. You guys may remember me from such songs as nowadays. But and you Red got, Roses. It's gotta be quick. Dude. You got a minute, dude. Feeling? Pack that shit in like 30, 40 seconds. Yeah, yeah. I, I never watched with 30. Yeah, I'm not going to make it all like deep and shit. I'm just no, like, no. Uh, Literally fucking... just quick. Four seconds of you talking, five, 10 seconds Yeah. onto the music. Eh. Sam could do well, it. Well, maybe like 15 seconds of me talking so yeah. I can at least explain like what I'm I think the, uh, the backstory. What was it? You said ethos or pathos. Which one was it? The pathos. I was going to say... Mm. Then it went down wrong. Dude, you actually could be like in that. Uh, no, listen. I don't, it's not like that, him. I don't Hold on. Me. Okay, okay. Le, le, you le, could le. just say, like, you could be like, hold on, fuck. You could like say that, like word it not, you could word it not stupidly and be like, and then it could just that whole part because you could say the back, the background shit. I can't talk right now. I, and I was then just have gonna, it, and then have it cut off and then turn into risk. Like you don't get into like, never mind. Yeah, I'm, I'll figure. It out. I'll just, I'll just make it no, it's, dude, it's you fine. Know what's so funny, I, Dono? Yeah. Fucking you telling a story about Sam's nose in the vlog. I literally his teeth, I, not his nose. Or yeah, sorry. I literally it was like say it was like tw- twenty <laughs> cuts, right? I literally had to edit out every other cut because you would just backtrack to a new detail or like talk about something something out of context completely. So, <laughs> so say just 20 clips, right? I Put suck clips, at talking, dude. Just about to 20 clips, right, on a timeline and then editing out every other one. <laughs> and that's what it made sense. Dude, I get so fucking sidetracked, dude. Yeah, it's so funny you kept backtracking to like another detail. Well, that, yeah. It's so fucking funny. Yeah. Like yeah, I think you should. should. I should probably just talk about it. Is it about and about so, Max? Yeah. Okay. So here's the story of why it's called Sapphire. <laughs> so uh, my ex, who I uh, met through Instagram, um, <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> uh, well, anyway, okay, she was a stripper when I met her, and her like stripper name was Sapphire. And uh, was it? Yeah, but then I also, did not like, that. then I, I made her like kind of stop stripping because, like, Clearly. I was like, I don't want to. Yeah. Anyway, um, so then, fuck, dude, I'm going, I'm drawing a fucking blank. Well, you're just trying to explain what sapphires, remember? Oh yeah. Oh, fuck. 
Okay, anyway, uh, it was a very uh, toxic, terrible relationship. And then, um, but like all pretty much like 80, per, 90% of the songs on the album were like inspired by her. Like yeah. it definitely gave me like hella inspiration. And then while we were still dating, I planned to call it Sapphire. And I thought it was cool because like the first EP was orange. It's and Sapphire color. is like kind of a color. It's like a gem, but it's also a, a color. Whatever. You could Same say it's thing. a color too. And then we broke up and I was like, I should just keep the name because it would be like, it wouldn't be like true to what the whole album's about if I just like changed the name. So yeah. I was like, fuck it. I'll just keep it Sapphire. But you shouldn't have taken her trademark. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> she did say something about running off with her trademark or something. I don't know. It's mind blowing. Can I put that in? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But... <laughs> But yeah, that that's pretty much it. That was That's a good story. No one knew that. That was probably dude, look, here. I'm gonna give you some advice about girls, Landon. Well, um, I don't I don't I'm not planning to get into a relationship. Well no, I was just like joking. But look, listen, but what are you, saying? you really don't know how to fucking pick them, dude. <laughs> yeah, I have terrible taste, I must say. No, it's like you p- intentionally pick the no, girls that, that yeah, are like, horrible for you. When I heard she was like a stripper, like uh, I'm talking about the first one in high school too. Like, oh yeah, she sucked too. But like, holy like, shit! Yeah, dude. I, I who was the tan I'm one drawn that like moved to, like, somewhere? Terrible. Who was terrible the tan girl. one that like moved somewhere? That Gabriella. Yeah, that was a good one, right? Dude, is she, she still? Dude, she was she was hot. <laughs> but uh, hey, Gab- hey, Gabriella, if you're still out there. uh <laughs> Me up. Dude, is she still hot as fuck? What's her What's her <laughs> Instagram? Gabriella. Dude. What? She's fucking hot. Really? Hold on. Landon. Wait, this this is the one you're looking at, right? Fucking. Mm. Wait, dude, she's literally so goddamn hot. Dude, we hot. met at a we met at a Blue Crabs game. Yeah, Blue Crabs, Southern Maryland. Shout out, represent. God damn it! Yeah. I'm pretty sure I like walked past her and I was like, dude, who is that bitch? She's a fucking. Goddamn hot. <laughs> she looked like fucking Vanessa Hudgens. That's why. Yeah. I like. mm. If everything goes well, Landy Cuff, when would your next album come out? August? Well, if everything goes well. Um, August, December? Or August? I would hope for, let me think. All right. Like Dude, February. I feel like in a summer album. All right. What month are we in right now? We're in December. December, Eight months from now, January, February, March, April. Like I see you, you have a lot of. Things I would to love to. Out. I would love to get out in like June, dude. That's what because, I was saying. Fucking dude, summer album, like baby. The timing, the timing for every every time I drop something has like never worked out exactly how I wanted it to. Yeah, because like I've never been able to drop something. I, I don't. I don't think I've ever really dropped something right at the beginning of summer that dude, I was like. So that I was like, this is a summer song, dude. You, everyone, like, when you dropped twenty one two weeks ago, everyone was like, this is literally a summer hit. Yeah. On the comments, <laughs> like you make, you and of make course I drop hits, it in bro. the winter. Yeah, but it like had like that <laughs> was so weird about that song. It was like a literally like winter December vibes, and then it's like a summer ass hit. You think the guitar is like winter vibes? No, the, the video. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, the song is just purely well, think, summer. I think it was fire that we had me in like, like. The sun and like it went back snow because it's because it's literally like changes going yeah. through changes. Yeah, I'm going through changes. Guys. Therapeutic session. I'm report. really excited for that. Really, Not my podcast after after my deluxe, that really fucking sad song that I made in the mountains. Oh, dude, dude, dude. That's depressing. That's like really I, sad. dude. I played it. It is fucking depressing. But I feel like I haven't really made. I haven't dropped like really depressing music recently. Dude, Which like people, like people kind of like peak of depression. N- people, I don't know, like my people older, like my older shit was like more depressing than it is now. I feel like, and like I feel like people kind of want to hear. I don't a know. Wishing and hoping is like kind of the most depressing. Well, yeah, shit but ever. like well, that's why I put it at, as like the last song because I feel like it just like is the perfect. Ends al- it with it's nice a perfect peak like depression. outro song. Yeah, it yeah. just like just shows how I was like feeling. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. And the video is depressing too. I'm just realizing. Yeah, I played the one that I did in the mountains though, for like. Well, I didn't play. Like my mom insisted to play it at Thanksgiving dinner. Oh. So I was like, okay, whatever. Wait, dude, at Thanksgiving here. dinner, dude. No, like the other one. That oh, we did your family. Okay. Like everyone was just like talking about, uh, like my music so much, and I was like, 
Dude. Starting to get uncomfortable. Because, like, cause like they would try to, like, end the converse- conversation about it. And then my aunt was like, everyone go around the table and say your favorite Landon song. <laughs> and I was like, dude, we don't have to do that. Like, Landon, listen to me. But I, I but I played forward. that song that I made in the mountains and my one of my aunts like started crying. <laughs> no way. What's your aunt? Uh, Dex's wife. Uh. <laughs> and, she, <laughs> and dude, the first time I sent it to my mom, like she Facetimed me, literally crying. Dude, it's so sad. But like, also, that song is so. I don't sad. know. I was. It made me like really happy how like hype she was on that song. Like she loves that song so much. Yeah, I know. I remember her playing it when she was. Because I say I haven't been home in a while. I hope my mama still smiles. Dude, dude, that that is like the saddest line I think I've ever wrote. That's so. And sad. I literally like fucking cried making that song, dude. And like the first like ten times I listened to it, I cried. <laughs> Dude, that's so bad. I am a pussy, bro. You know what I'm saying? No, I like that, bro. That's real motion. That's still, real I motion. I still cry sometimes when I listen to it. She, it was so funny. Every time your mom was like cooking or like doing something productive when she was here, she was playing that song. I heard that song like ten times. And then when everyone was here, that one night they made me like sing it with my dad playing piano, and my voice was super out of uh, practice, and uh, it uh, didn't go didn't go well. Well, just the really high part didn't go well. I didn't like it, but they liked it. But that was a. Uh, uh, but uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, All right. Well, I'm gonna wrap up this podcast, boys. Uh, go listen to Lynn's album right fucking now. It's a masterpiece. Please do. I need you guys. I need you guys to listen. Um, another thing we need all every single there's probably at least ten thousand people that watched at the end. Five thousand people. Every single one of you need to share the album with your friend as well. Yeah, and yes, then dude, listen to honestly, it. Honestly, like that Word sounds of mouth weird, is but like, one. yeah, like if you share it with people, I like one I'm or two sure, friends. Dude, I feel like no matter what they listen to, like they'll at least like something off that album because there's two like, fucking. There's there's so many different. There's something for different everyone. Sound. There's something for everyone. That's that's how I like to make. Uh, Landon's music. his own genre, beach. Let's I go. I like to make uh, every song different. All right, see you, fuckers. Say, uh, love y'all. Southside, but I'm rapping.